topic today, heat shrinking, Phil. Now, is it a myth in the industry that heat shrinking is only for five axis applications? Uh, it's a little bit of a misconception. I mean, it can be used for all applications. But the reason that people recognize it more with five axis is because they're very slender geometries. So we're able to access into areas with short, tall overhangs which weren't possible with collet systems. So Joe, who works on the MTD uh, team, is our tooling specialist, and he says, you know, this can be a far superior option to other methods out there. It is, because it's very, very accurate. We have a solid piece of steel, in, in most cases a one-piece geometry, very accurate. We talk about three microns accuracy, oh, okay. and of course the cl same clamping force every, t every time. And you're talking about accuracy, tick that box, but what about time? Does it take longer? You know, we're always talking about spindle speeds and saving seconds. You know, this is behind the scenes. This is when the machine isn't work. you know. Yeah, well, we, on this machine, we can, we can really do three tools almost simultaneously. So the time taken is much less than it would be to change a collet chuck. And it's fairly simple, I know, to say, <laughs> I know I can do it. Um, but what's the process? So we, uh, we use induction coil technology to heat the tool up to around 350 degrees, the bore expands, we're able to put the tool inside, and then we very progressively bring the temperature down with a cooling jacket in around 45 to 60 seconds. I'm aware that there's other shrink machines on the market, so what's the benefit of having a Hymer shrink machine? We would say if you use our shrink machine with our tool holders, you have a very controlled process in the heating and in the cooling, which will give you an infinite amount of shrinks. If you don't control those processes properly, then it's possible to destroy a tool holder. And you can see the colour of our tool holders in here is perfect and how they should be. 